I played Godfall. Is it really that bad? Let's talk about this. The game was originally released on 11th of December 2020 as a part of the promotion of the, for the PS5. The game also was released for Epic Game Store as uh, exclusive, right, for several years. And uh, yeah, the, the release reviews or, or the perception of the game was not that great. There was optimization issues. The game tend to be really slow, like um, short on the story-wise, right? And there was some issues where the, with the end game content it was like lack of it right there was not much to do after you finish it or it was a grindy so there was like the you know not that great perception of the game after a year the game released the expansion one free and one pay that the increase like release more of the story and very variety of more end game content which was kind of nice right because that was the game needed and on 7th of april 2022 the devs release ultimate edition for for steam release as well where you can get everything in one bundle you have like god god full experience and a you go. I don't think that they will release any more content for this game. Maybe sometime in the future there will be a sequel. Right now, let's jump into the overview of the game for those who never heard about the game or never seen the game before. Let's go through those those things that are included in the game and then jump through some opinions, right? The, the positives and negatives. The game is set as a high fantasy game where you're playing kind of some of the god. You are the Arkan and uh, the story begins where you and your brother kind of have disagreement. You will lose and he will send you flying down the path up from the tower and you will fall down and all the way down right and the story is about to do revenge and stopping your brother kind of you know one of those stories but that's not the main point of the story or not not main point of of the thing that you should do in this game because the game claims to be like first looter slasher game where where everything is focused about combat right where you are going around slashing enemies killing them and looting sweet loot equipping yourself with very uh, variety of equipment that's giving you different stats and different boosts Boons, and also you are creating yourself a build and that build is carrying you through the end game where you can grind for more loot you know you know that grind so but what is really cool in my opinion is that they went for this kind of idea to combine looter shooter with with you know going for swords and great swords and and spears and stuff something like that this is really cool I, I i absolutely when i saw it for the first time i was like this is a really cool idea i don't understand why there is no other kind of game that would go this way because i feel that, that that's a gold mine my that's a gold mine there is a lot of players that would love go for a looter shooter that is set in a different tone than it usually that is, right? When I forget about the story for a second and I will just look on the gameplay, right? That what you're doing the most of the time, the game is goddamn fluid. You you are equipping yourself with variety of armors that giving you different uh, like abilities, the passive abilities or the focus on what you want to do. There are several weapons that you can equip yourself with and each of the weapon feels really different like the hammer when you swing the hammer and then you bash your enemies you feel the weight behind it right that's that's really cool i really enjoyed or if you're going for dual swords you are slashing through those enemies you're sliding around and there is a lot of mechanics that's going into this this like gameplay and you can focus on several of them for example, there are weapon techniques, which got each weapon got a different one, right? And you have northern and sour technique that that allow you to do variety of things. You are charging this over time and or slashing enemies, and then you can use powerful ability. As I said, each weapon got a different one. Then you have a polarization mechanic. That that's kind of that's kind of cool because you have set of two weapons. You can play with two weapons at once, and this polarization mechanic makes you like when you're using one weapon, you are charging the other one, and when you charge it fully. You can switch between those weapons and you will like 
enter the state of like you will slash for example the hammer to the ground and you can like fight those other enemies right so there is a mechanic for you to to really switch between weapons in the fight and this is kind of interesting another one that is obviously like a sunder right there is a breach that is like you are doing a lot of damage to the enemy and you can fill the the bar on the enemy's hp when you fill it you can they take the takedown right and you will just do finisher and just put it out of his misery on the other hand there is an interesting mechanic that i personally enjoy a lot and it is soul shatter that is like that you are damaging your enemy right then you damaging your opponent and there is a separate bar that is going on and it's like a buffer and if you with the light attacks or with the left click you can build it up and with the right click you can like spend it and do this soul shatter damage and also you can play it as a mechanic right so for example if you will kill it with soul shatter with this buffer buff it will explode and give this soul shatter to everyone else around so this is kind of interesting a lot there is a weak point for example that, that's kind of also cool because you are you are looking at the enemy right and when, when he is doing the swing and you will dodge for example backwards right he will like open himself to you right and you see the dot on on him and you can aim for this and just with the click you will use the weak spot weak point damage and you will do the extra damage also there are time attacks that means that you will you are because it's hack and slash you are clicking the buttons quite a lot but there is a mechanic that you can like stop <laughs> And then you are continuing onward and there is a different mechanic for each weapon that you can utilize. Also, you have your shield, trusty shield always on and you can parry attacks, you can throw the shield, you can shatter the ground with the shield, you can do variety of things with the shield. And there is, for example, Rampage. Rampage is for somebody who likes to click the buttons, right? When you click in the button and you are dealing damage to the enemies, you are building this Rampage and it's giving you boost to the attack speed and damage and you are just going through that, right? You are the berserker of the, of the game. And what is most important on, the, on this topic, because why I am explaining all the techniques, you are kind of combining all of them together. You can focus on several of them. You'll be like, oh, I don't kind of like timing attacks. You don't have to play around that. You can play around polarization and bleed for example so you will switch the weapons and there are boosts that will allow you to, to do that right there are items that that really fancy one of those things for example I have ability that I can jump with the shield and slash it to the ground and when I do that that because I got the armor that I'm using everyone get bleed and there are other mechanics when they are bleeding, when they get ailments on them, uh, you are doing bonus damage, you are doing more of the things, which is super, super, like, interesting, because uh, those build options at the end game, there are, like, several. You can really, like, pin yourself to the one of the playstyles that would you like to go for and, like, build around it. I really, I really like it on the game other mechanics that going into it there are augments augments are like part of the building process that you are switching those into constellations each of the armor got a different constellation and uh, you are picking those up that will increase your stats and giving you more options and there is a core and the core you can unlock by completing like challenges and with that you can really again like set yourself apart from the other specializations for example you can pick the core that is really fancy the bleeding to you are going that way right so there is a lot of lot of things going together for you to to utilize a lot of mechanics that's built upon each other and together it's really making it a fluid combat where it's really fun to slash through the enemies and kill those and progress through the variety of maps and and the biomes that are available like the, the sceneries and everything that is going around you it's really beautiful it's really cool looking it's everything is really high fantasy right that no it's not for everybody because everything is so shiny everything looks so glimmery and someone may be looking for something that is grim dawn right something what is really like you know dull and dark that's not what it is going on here this is everything is just so so over the top 
Before we will jump to the positives and negatives, let's talk about endgame content, right? There is six possible ways how you can play the endgame and get sweet loot. When the game was originally released, there was only one possible way how to play it and only one mode and it was not enough. People were complaining a lot that there is a short campaign, right? And the one mode of endgame that is not really greatly made. And yeah, that was one of the pinpoints that people hate about the game. Right now, there is six possible ways how to play it. There, there is variety of things what you can do. You can climb the tower, is it like roguelike experience where every single like level you can choose boon that is boosting your stats and you are fighting enemies, right? There is ascended one that is certainly for like, you know, higher tier kind of like, you know, you want to be good to go there and also well, you want to have a lot of good equip and you can play it with, uh, with the other people and it's recommended to play with other people. There is exalted tower of trials, which is like the ultimate, like the you want to go there when to, to test your build, to test the maximum. There are no boons, no nothing like that. You are just going through that and you want to beat it. And with that, you are unlocking shards for your for your armor that's really increasing the power of, of your build and, and such. So this is just to like top of the top what you want to do to really push your build to the limits. That is Dreamstones. Uh, Dreamstones is... Kind of, a, kind of a game mode where you are trying to stabilize the realm and you are picking between the missions and uh, some of them give you rewards and decreasing the stability, some increasing and you want to be there as, as like the longer you will be there, the stronger the boss will be, but the uh, better, best, like the better rewards at the end. So that that's one of them. Another one is the Lightbringer where everything like you will pour into the realm where everything is black and you are kind of following the light and you are trying to to get as much light as possible towards the last pylon and at the end when you accumulate all the light what you are capable there is a huge wave of enemies coming for you and you have to protect the pylon and based on how you well you're going you will get the rewards which is kind of neat and there is the spirit realms <laughs> what people hate the most because it's really like complicated kind of you are picking up sta like stat orbs that you are in inserting into various of places you are teleporting around you are killing enemies it's just it's just a lot of going on there, but what what people hate about this mode is that you are switching between a dream plane and the reality and so can you imagine that you have like um to like group of enemies and one of them is in spirit realm and one of them is in real realm and you have to switch with the G uh, with the key G between those realms to be able to fight them and also the boss is doing the same they are switching between those realms and people are just dissatisfied that it's really like the complication that you they make you going through I think is not worth it what, what the experience should be I don't know maybe it's too hard maybe it's maybe they will address it in the future who knows what will happen but those are just just the overview of the modes I can't I don't want to tell you more like details and stuff because I don't have that much experience with the end game I was playing the game like three years ago or something like that and now I I returned back after three years I was like hey you know what Godfall. God damn it. I want I want to I want to know if the game is still good or am I enjoying it still? What what's going on? So now I started over on the Steam and I'm going through the campaign and I, so far I'm enjoying myself. So maybe I will get to the end game and I will progress even more than ever before and I will be able to tell you, you know, in the future in next video more about that. So if you want to know more about the end game how exactly everything works, I will keep I will leave a video down below in in the comment section. I was watching that like six months ago something like that uh, uh, there was the overview of the modes I, I was I was finding it like yeah that's kind of nice so I will keep it there in the description if you want to see it for now let's jump those positives what I like is the the combat was I mentioned the fluid fluidness of the combat is really there and when you are using those mechanics they are given to you to use and you are like executing and on them are perfectly like you will parry so that everybody is falling down and then you are going for the soul shatter mechanic that everybody exploding and such it's really cool when you will get to the flow of the things 
It's absolutely feeling really good to fight enemies or mini bosses or everything that it will throw at you. Another thing that I really like, as I mentioned before, are exactly those skills that you are combining to war together and you're focusing on those who uh, what you like and you're kind of ignoring those you don't. I don't like the timing attack, so I'm not playing it around them. I am playing about the soul shatter and the takedowns and also other stuff, the polarization because it looks cool, right? When you switched weapons and you will do a bunch of damage and you continue onward with different playstyle. Really cool. Another thing that I like is the loot. Like when you when you open the chest and all those tingling feelings like <laughs> going around and you are collecting gold and, and those spheres that is transformed into the loot, it, it's feeling good. Like the, they hit the dopamine, like, you know, uh, dopamine things really well. And uh, when there is a legendary, you are like, oh my God, it's, it's coming, it's good. So yeah, the loot is kind of nice. Another thing that I like is visuals. Like the everything is over the top, but I like it. I personally, I am fan going through the water realm and everything is underwater, right? There, there are like crabs, creatures and everything like, oh, you're going through earth realm where it, everything is kind of like foresty and, and uh, there is a lot of like boulders and everything and castles. The, the, everything about the game looks really pretty. It's made in Unreal Engine and it shows. With that, I can't really like left alone the bosses. Some of the bosses looks absolutely incredible and also over the top when there is a char like a knight with a big hammer that is charging at you and just trying to slam you down or the big witch that is three times bigger than you and you have to figure out the mechanics, what's going on to parry the right, uh, right things and just go through that. I feel that the boss encounters are really, really like cool. Another thing that I like is variety of enemies because you have those different, different biomes with each of them got the different enemies and it's kind of cool. But you know, as every game Game that you are playing a lot and you are going through the end game you will reach to the point that you saw everything and you're kind of like you know I saw this come on give me something else and everybody every game will come to that so the more variety you will have in game the better but I feel that the visuals of the enemies and the, the how they are distinct of each other is really cool I, I really like some of the enemies I'm like what the hell this this is really looking cool another thing that I have not tried but I feel that 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 would put the game even like on a higher place for me is a cop. Co you can play it with up to three people and you can like go for the for the end game content together and you know just slash through the enemies and have a lot of fun and also, as I mentioned before, it's claimed to be first a uh, looter slasher game, and I'm really, really giving a, like thumbs up for the idea to have something like that. And hopefully, there will be other others that that will pick up this idea to have looter shooter while you going for the equip. You're equipping yourself with the different stuff, and you know, and have these settings of the fantasy things. Maybe it'll mix that a little bit of magic as well. Yeah, I think it would be great. What I don't like that much on the game is block. Like the block is super fa like super cool, right? When you when you hit it, when they are going around about you, like on you, and they got the yellow circle, and you will hit them with the shield, and they are just start flying. It's super cool. Yeah, you feel great. But what is not good, but it's by design, is that you there is no like animation cancellation. So when you are going for 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 example like big swing, right? You can't really cancel it with a shield block, and uh, sometimes you you set yourself in the situation that you are not don't want to attack, right? You are you are like standing and waiting for them to attack to block and go for attack. I understand that for some people it will be good. Right, because it doesn't make sense to be in the middle of the swing of the big, big hammer and out of nowhere just start blocking. Right, it doesn't make sense. But recently, I play a plate of Nine Souls, which is like Metroidvania style game where you are—it's a side scroll, but it's like mixed with the Dark Souls elements where you are fighting like uh, the bosses and, and enemies. And what is really cool on the game is exactly this, that you can charge your big attack and also in the mid you can deflect bullets. And it's just so satisfying to pull it off. Like when you are flying through the air, you are clicking the button and you are deflecting bullets and, and you are just, and after that, you just release the heavy attack. 
it just feels good. Or or in the Wukong, when you play, when you click the button dodge, you just immediately dodge. And when you go for the perfect dodge, it's just so satisfying. So I would love for this to be like you you know you are waiting for those uh, moments that they are attacking you, and you will click the button shield and you will just block it. It would be so much more like not immersive in that way, but it would have that I don't know. It's just connection to the game that that game is you have it under control everything and this kind of like you know that the parry system is kind of like put it to the way that it's clunky right another thing that i kind of don't like or you like it for a first part but then it's kind of like rinse and repeat is the lever progression you always have the same you are going for the mission you will spawn to the semi uh, semi open world right where you have like big map and you are going for uh, you are following a cursor or or a quest marker and you will reach the place you will kill kind of boss and you return back to sanctuary and then you are going for the same map again and you are following a different road and and it's kind of sometimes you will find out that like the progression is just repetitive and not really like immersive enough right there is not really big spectacle that would happen on the way some random events when you are going off the beaten path you are just in the map right you are going somewhere else there is nobody there is nobody standing there you are just have those set amount of encounters and you are going through them yeah you can load in the game as a free like a free mode where you can run around and there are enemies everywhere the full map is like full of enemies and you can just go around whenever you want but the story missions that that those missions that going through those i don't know it start it will start to be really like you are going from encounter to encounter and yeah that's kind of weird one thing that i would welcome is a map sometimes i'm like hey is it this path towards this or this one it's not because you are set on those markers as i said before yeah there is no need for the map because you are just following like 50 meters beho before you and you are just going for those marks you're going from combat to combat to combat and you will finish the mission and then you're waiting for 20 seconds and you are back to sanctuary and you can go again right but still I would love this this open world kind of mix would be a little bit deeper, a little bit bigger, and you would be able to really explore and find different areas and dungeons and stuff. It would be really, really nice. I would I would really welcome that. But that will never happen again. <laughs> So overall, I'm enjoying myself quite a lot, even though I returned back after a long time and I'm playing it over again. The, the combat and the fluidity of the combat and the slashing through the enemies is really satisfying. It's really cool. I can't imagine, I, I can't imagine that, you know, it's maybe not game for 500,000 or 2,000 hours for you to grind every single piece of gear and everything to the max out. Like, maybe that's not the best game to do it in, right? But if I will be able to spend 20 to 30 hours in the game, go through the campaign, farm a little bit of, of the end game, get some kind of build going and, you know, uh, climb some tower again, do some end game, I think I will have my worth of money. You can get this game really cheaply in the discounts uh, that are going on the Steam and such, like $10, $5, something like that. And I, I feel that in discount, this game have so much for you to offer, right? That, that you will have a ton of fun. And especially when would you play with the friends. I think have, being on Discord or on a voice chat and slashing enemies, getting loot, I feel that that will really scratch the age for those who's searching for something, you know, that you have a little bit of grind and you can progress variety of things throughout the game and, and fight really cool bosses. So yeah, for me, Godfall is certainly like approved or, or you know, I, I, I would recommend that, but I would, you know, be cautious that if you would love to go there like for thousands of hours because I don't feel that there will not be any more re release content for the game I feel the game is kind of like yeah that's it we are completed the game this is it yeah but yeah I'm satisfied so far I have to say it's good so yeah that will do it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one let me know down in the comment section because this is really important let me know if you played the game like more than I did because uh, you certainly did let me know what do you think of endgame are you enjoying it have they improved the, the quality of the endgame throughout the, the expansions because as I said before right that in the beginning there was only one endgame possibility to go for 
for. Now it's there are six possible for content go for. So yeah, it's better, but I don't know what is the reality for from uh, players that playing like a hundred hours or something like that. So let me know down below in the comment section. Meanwhile, you can check more videos on the screen. If you like that, you can hit the subscribe button, you can hit the like button. There is a lot of action, so you'll forget about everything. And I will see you all next time, right? In the next video or, you know, in the future somewhere. So yeah, that's it. Enjoy. Bye.